Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is MacBoy and I'm here to talk to you about the most essential applications you must have in your dock as a YouTuber or an average Mac consumer. Now personally, I like to organize my dock into sections related to a specific utility or tool. For example, internet browsing, photo editing, video editing, word processing, whatever. Now I'm going to zoom into the left of my dock here and as you can see the very first item on the dock is the finder which is of course everyone must have that, it's not really an option. But after that comes my video and music editing software. For example, I have iMovie, Final Cut, and if you're a music lover, GarageBand, of course, ScreenFlow, which is what I'm using to record this video right now. Now, all of this falls under music or video editing. Next, I have Mac Mail, which is my email client. In my preference, it's the best one out there, and it comes with your Mac, which is perfect. And going beyond the mail aspects, we have the internet browsing tools. Got Safari and Chrome open and running right now. Of course, those are just my two favorite browsers and those are what I use in current day. In between those, I have iTunes. Now, of course, every YouTuber or in general Mac consumer has to have some sort of music playing application or in my case, it's iTunes where I listen to all of my music. Let's head over to Tweety. Now, this is my main Twitter client. There are, of course, other clients out there such as TweetDeck or Twitterific that accommodate to your Twitter needs. My preference is Tweety. Now after that is Photoshop. Now I just like to keep Photoshop in the middle of my dock so it's easy to navigate to and just click on it and open it whenever I need to edit some image. The only problem with Photoshop is that it actually takes between 15 to 20 seconds to start up and actually load the engine, which is a pain but that's what we have to get used to. Next is Cyberduck. Now Cyberduck is an FTP client for my website. If you're a YouTuber, you most likely have your own website and this is what I use to transfer files between my computer and the site. Or you can use other methods such as WordPress or Tumblr that does it all for you on the site. Next we have Adium. Of course there's MSN Messenger, Skype, iChat, but Adium honestly fits into all of my needs. And I'm still surprised in my previous videos I mentioned that I liked MSN Messenger the best when clearly Adium was in my dock. Nobody mentioned that in the comments. Highly, highly, highly disappointed. I'm just joking, but moving on, we have the Microsoft Office tool. Of course, right now I've got Microsoft Word and PowerPoint in my dock. Those are the two most common. Those are just the two most common applications that I use on a day-to-day -day basis for projects, presentations, and other things like that. Of course, of course, right beside PowerPoint, I've got Keynote, which is essentially the same thing, but in my opinion, much, much more professional. Keynote is part of iWork. Keynote is part of iWork and so is Numbers. This is a graphing application that allows you to make beautiful and elegant graphs very, very, very easily. Of course, all of these four applications are used for my projects and presentations. One of the last few applications I have is TextEdit. Now this is a much more small, lightweight application that I can use to quickly jot down some notes instead of opening up some Word. It takes about you know 15, 20 seconds to launch and actually save it and things like that. TextEdit, all you have to do is click and go. And lastly, I've got software update with system preferences. Now I just keep these two applications beside one another because those are applications that you must or you will need to access from time to time. And I don't have to go all the way to the Apple at the top and then click on system preferences or software update. I can just go to my dock, make it one click and save a couple seconds. And beyond the divider, I've got my downloads folder. And the reason because I only have the downloads folder, not the application, music, whatever folder, is because I download a freaking lot. And whenever I need to access a file quickly, place into a different application, I can just do that by clicking on my downloads folder and it's holding and dragging it to the application window. And of course, there's trash. That's pretty much it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something on how to organize your dock and make it more cleaner. Now, this was just my opinion and preference. I'm sure you disagree with me somewhere. Maybe you like Firefox better than Chrome or Safari. I want you to tell me exactly what your favorite applications are in your dock right now. In fact, for those of you who can, make a video response telling me what application you think must be in this video and must be in every YouTubers slash Mac consumers duck. Thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I'll see every single one of you next time right here on Macboy Productions.